Before we get to that, though, let's first put a wrap on the week that was with our week six top plays and prime time performers. We'll start with a couple of the undefeateds, of which there are just four left in all of District 11. Three from the Colonial Schuylkill League, including Northwestern Lehigh, which used 369 total rushing yards in racing past Saucon Valley on Friday. Senior Dalton Clymer had 144 on the ground in the first half alone, breaking off short yardage scores of three, six, and seven yards before intermission. His longest TD of the day came just after halftime, a 37-yard scoring scamper that helped secure the Tigers' 42-15 triumph. Clymer finished with 181 yards rushing. Northwestern is 6-0 heading into this week's matchup with Pottsville. The only unblemished team left in the EPC is Parkland, which used a stellar ground game of its own in winning versus Whitehall last week. Tailback Trey Tremble piled up 168 yards rushing on just seven carries. Three of those totes going the distance as the senior found pay dirt from 16, 61, and 80 yards away. Through just six weeks, Tremba is already on the cusp of 1,000 yards rushing, having found the end zone 15 times on the ground and 17 times in total this fall. The 6-0 Trojans, who are averaging nearly 39 points per game, visit William Allen this Friday. One game back of Parkland is 5-1 Nazareth, which used a late fourth quarter push to prevail over Central. Tied at seven when the Vikings were stopped on fourth and one deep in Blue Eagles territory. Fourth and short then on Nazareth's ensuing drive when Peyton Falzone finds daylight down the right side, 41 yards on the QB keeper. Setting up the game winning touchdown toss to Caleb Newsom. 13 yards for Falzone's 11th TD pass of the season. The junior Newsom finished with four grabs for 86 yards as Nazareth won 14 to seven. Eagles fly to Whitehall this week. That was Nazareth's second straight win. Emmaus has also won two in a row. Green Hornets junior Rafael Torreira with an impact on both sides of the ball Friday versus Becca. He had the only touchdown of the night, securing this 13-yard pitch and catch from Josiah Williams. Torreira also with an interception as Emmaus pitched its second straight shutout. In fact, all three of the Hornets' wins this season have been clean sheets. As we noted earlier, Emmaus, one of our featured Friday night matchups as the Green Hornets travel to Cottingham Stadium to face Easton. The Red Rovers will also enter that contest at 3-3 three three after rallying for a comeback victory last week against Liberty. Big play in that ball game came just before halftime. Easton down 13-7 with time winding down when Cole Ordway heaves up the Hail Mary that's pulled down in the end zone by Jasir Frutchy, giving the Rovers a one-point lead at the break. Easton would prevail 21-13. Ordway finished 13 for 24 passing for 162 yards and a pair of tutties. He's got seven passing scores through six weeks and is closing in on 700 yards through the air.